locksmith. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to do a Volkswagen Jetta. Uh, I believe it's a 2011 or 12 uh, with the VVDI2. I just did a video how to do it on Autel and then I'm gonna end up doing another video on how to do it on uh, the Z4. Okay, I get a million questions about it. I get a million emails. How do I do this? How do I do that? I'm just putting the video out here for my text and plus whoever other texts that want to know how to do it. Okay, now, number one, you know, nobody ever talks about it, these, these clusters. I find th the best book is the z -Fold. You could download it. They have all, like, like all the cars that they do. This whole book is really basically, you could download it and you can see all the clusters. These are all different clusters. Okay, which you're gonna need so you know the point when it's in service mode where to touch, okay? So we're gonna get back to that in a second. Now, naturally, I got this from the, uh, the junkyard. I don't know if you watched my last video. To get this piece right here, this was on there. There was four screws. I unscrewed them. Okay, and then there's a flap here and a flap here. Just unflap it so you don't break it. Okay. Now, naturally, if you're taking that cluster out, out of a Jetta, okay, uh, be careful because there's a video out there that shows you how to take the whole dash apart because it, it's very delicate. It is. And I've seen so many people crack them, this and that, just be real delicate. I got these tools that just unflap it. There's a good video out there. You, you can look it up. Guy does a pretty good job with it. Okay, now number one, all right, the cluster is off. Now, I bought this thing where it hooks into the cluster, it has this, it turns it on, and it's able to, you touch the pongo with that. Okay, now number two, the VVDI is plugged in, okay, into here with this, and right here, I got a, one with, no chip, actually I made a Volkswagen chip, which I'll do it again. Generate it so it's blank. Uh, not blank, but it's for a Volkswagen because we're gonna use that instead of the key. Okay, let's read it anyway. All right, let's read transponder and see, it's unlocked. Okay, number one, now let's begin. Now that we took the cluster apart, Okay, um, what we could do is let's get it into service mode. Okay, how we do that, okay. First of all, we gotta see which cluster it is. Okay, now naturally it could be cluster one, two, three, four, but I'm gonna save us some time because we got the video here. I believe, yeah, it's cluster two. Now here it shows you where you gotta hit the pointer, okay, which, is right over there okay now what I'm gonna do is get my little pointer okay I'm gonna touch it right here where it is turn it on you're gonna see a little flash everybody says count to 10 but see that little flash now I know it's done okay now when I turn this over it's gonna be flashing right here the brake Okay, so now we know we're in service mode. Okay, now we'll go into the VVDI. And go like this. And somebody walking over here trying to cause disruption. We're filming, getting around. All right, we're just opening it up. I'm trying to do everything because when you watch these videos, everybody got skips everything, jumps to everywhere. You know, it's crazy. Okay, make always make sure it's updated. I updated it last night. I doubt we need another update over here. So we're gonna hit. Now we'll go right into it. We'll hit this thing right up here. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna read the EEPROM, okay? The steps, really, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna tell you right now, we're gonna read the EEPROM, we're gonna save the EEPROM, we're gonna read the immobilizer data, save the immobilizer data, okay? Make a dealer key, add a key, and then at the end, which is very important, reset the instrument cluster, 
Okay, now we hit that. Now, read EEPROM, which is fine. Okay, I always go to, uh, if you read that, go to two, I don't know, two seems to work for me for years, so I just use it. Now that jumps on, now it's reading the data, as you can see. Sometimes you'll error for no reason, just redo it. You know, there's no rhyme or reason why things happen, but, uh, but that's it. Okay, so now, you read the data success. Quiet, Merman. Okay, so now we're gonna save it. Okay, now I save it on my desktop. T desktop. I'm gonna put uh, F F F F E Pro. Okay, and then hit save. Okay, now I'm, I got a lot of dogs, so just ignore them. So now we're gonna read immobilize the data login method. And hit that. It's like having little kids here. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to read that. It's success. Let's save it. And then I'm just going to make something up. And then just save it. And it's going to save into my desktop. It's always good to save. Very important. God forbid or something. All right, so now we read the immobilizer data. As you can see, the VIN, you got that, you got the PIN number, we got really everything we really need. Okay, now we're gonna make a deal here. I'm gonna take this chip, I'm gonna put it inside here, okay, and make a deal key. I always go to this lot, login method two. Okay, Volkswagen dealer, just hit yeah, next. Are you sure, yes. key made and it's locked. So in other words, it made that key and it's locked. Very self-explanatory actually. And then now we're gonna add a key. Okay, hit that. We already backed up the EEPROM, it's telling us. So we did that. Now that's fine, leave it the way it is. Let's go to our little number two, next. Are you sure I might have to put it with the antenna? Hold on one second if I can find the antenna. There we go. Okay. That's done. Let's let's add the key again, just in case. So I'm gonna put the chip right here. This is part of this piece right here. And it's almost like you could do this in the car, but I do it right here. Hit that, yes. Next. Logic 2 method. Okay, can I read the chipset? Okay. It, it's, it says, can I read the chipset? Or the key chips is not placed. So this one, it's got to be in the program. I'm thinking the, the, uh, the uh, not the Z-Fold, but the um, IM608. So yeah, it was right what we did. And everything went through. But I'm going to just do it again to make sure. Okay, the key's already in the car. Now, how we how we could test everything went. Number one, okay, before we reset the uh, the instrument cluster, let's read this chip now. Okay, it's locked. And look, there's the number 78B E C D right here. It's in key line one. So it's it's program. We wiped out all the other keys. I did it on last time. I wanted to clear them out because I was practicing and I practically used all the key slots. So we put that one in key one, okay? Now, we're gonna read the immobilizer data. And see, yeah, it's right there, perfect. Okay, now, last step, reset the instrument cluster, okay? And then that's it. Basically, that's all. What we could do is, I want to show you one other thing. 
Now, if I shut the cluster off, because we have the switch, and we turn it on, you'll see no key over there. See that? Okay, now to show you that the key's working, because this is almost like the transponder ring in the car. Okay, keep that like that. We'll put that on the ring. Let's, let's shut this off a few seconds and turn it on. You won't get that message. See? So it's like that key would start. Okay, and that's basically it. It's all done. And you made yourself a key. You know, in my opinion, which one do I think is easier? I am 608 or, or this. It's a toss up, you know. Kind of think this is a little bit faster, but it, it is what it is. And I like this, I, you know, I, I've done this so many times, you know, over the years with saving the diet. I just kind of like it, but either one is good. All right, and the last one I'm gonna do the z which I've really done for years, and I think it's a, it's a good machine also, you know. They're really, all three of them are good. I just think that that uh, the BBDI2 and the IM608 is just a little faster process, okay? But you're gonna see on the next video, I'm gonna probably do one one day, one the next, and one the other day. And you can watch all three and then just, you know, whatever, depending on what, which machine you have. A lot of people have the VVDI too. So, you know, at least you could do the, uh, you know, the Volkswagen. Everybody says, I can't do, I can't do. But it's, as you can see, it's not hard at all. Take care and I'll see you later.